And uh, I want to introduce the cast of Working Out the Kings. King They're in the building tonight. I just want to say um, God bless you all. Thank you guys for coming out here and making it happen. How y'all doing? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to do this because y'all about, about, about to laugh. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that y'all about to laugh. Um, Jay Nicole is going to give you guys the rundown of who, what's what, who's who, first base, second base, no, I'm just kidding. So it's going to be a lot of energy tonight. If you guys are not, if you're in a funky mood tonight, you better get out of it because we're about to, we're about to turn this thing up. Let's get it. 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 It is the first natural hair sitcom, and that's what you're going to see on this trailer. It's going to be an introduction to what we do here at, working, at the team of Working Out the Kinks. So, let the tape roll. What? Oh, wow! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't understand why straight hair is sexier than curly hair anyway, and it's just really all stressing me out. I think she can have sex. Don't you ever touch a black woman's hair. Ever, ever. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello. 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 You know, I was just sitting here as you had asked me before about it, and I've never really spoken about where it really, really, really came from. And I'll be honest, it, this was a product of, it birthed when I was coming out of an abusive relationship, actually. And um, coming out of that relationship, I had to re-examine myself where I was in life and, and, and really dig deep and be like, wow, there is, there is something going on in here that is not right that I need to work on and fix to even have been in this situation. You know what I'm saying? And it was, and I realized that it was manifesting not only in that relationship, but just in my life in general, in my finances, in my um, career, in my dreams, you know, it was manifesting in different ways in my life. And so I had to really sit down and take a look and, and be like, what do I really want to accomplish in life? Where do I really see myself? Like, I know I'm destined for more than this, where I'm at. Because I felt like my career was no doing nothing. My relationship was doing nothing. My finances were doing nothing. And, and really figure out how to work on myself and my career in order to get there. And so when I really took a look at that, I realized who came to mind actually was Oprah. Oprah is somebody that I really <laughs> look up to. I love Oprah. That's my, like... I came from domestic violence, and Oprah was like the one yes. thing, like, you know, there were some things that, you know, really brought me to remember, like it happened, like you said, you know, people don't realize this, we open our mouths and start talking to the nation, to the world, and things just come out, and we share things that we don't even mean to share, Yeah, and it just happens that way, Yeah, and I just want to say, um, I just commend you for doing that right here, yeah. and letting people know, because... When you're going through that, if you can find something that's creative inside of you yes. to remember who you are, because yes. you are somebody. Yes. Right? So yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's fine. And, and yeah, absolutely that. Like, it, I, I don't know. Something just told me today to speak that because I've never spoken that really. I've never talked about that before. Well, I thank you. <laughs> you know, you just, inspired, you just inspired somebody amen, at home today because... You know, so many women go through it and never talk about it. Mm -hmm. They wear turtlenecks or, mm -hmm. you know, there's so many different types of um, domestic mm -hmm. violence. Men go through it too. Mm -hmm. And um, most men don't, men will definitely more so not talk about it. Mm -hmm. So That's I've true. met some men that are going through. Anybody, amen, anybody mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about out there? <laughs> and you know, you have some really nice men that um, are very submissive and they have, they have been through that in their lives. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for sharing. Yeah, and keep on sharing. Now, so once you lived it and you opened it up to the world, because we know we are, we are, we worldwide, uh, www.bronxnet.org, 
And I just want people to know, like, you know, support the people that really do good things because she's doing something awesome. And I just, I looked at her, look, you know, award winning, you know, when you, when you see award winning, you know, when you look at that after coming from where you came from, what does that say to you? You know, it, it was, I just, exactly what I was saying. I needed to work on myself to start seeing it manifest on the outside. You know, it all starts within. And that's what I did. I started fighting for my life from the inside out. You know, I was looking at all these outside things to change, trying to work on my career, trying to work on my relationship. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be on this grind on the outside. But I really needed to start working here first and here first. And that's and once I started doing that, that's when the things started to manifest in the way that I, I wanted to. And I'm still not where I want to be. In so which way? Like, which, like where, where are we at? Like, the uh socially emotionally um career so where i see myself as far as my dream is concerned as far as my career is is kind of what i was speaking to and but that just points to what's going on inside is because that means there's still work that needs to be done here i need to still continue to work to get this in, in alignment and be vibrating on the level so that it will manifest in the way that i want to see it in my dream, you know what I'm saying, with working out the kinks, with my acting career, with as a producer and a creator, you know what I mean? And I think the one thing that we have to learn how to do is ask, mm -hmm. ask for what we need. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that I'm learning, like just ask for what you need. Tell people you need something. Mm -hmm. And I think like I'm here at Crossover TV, I may look okay, <laughs> but I just may need something, right? you know? And we have to let each other know, we have to share. This grind is not just for you alone. You know, when you put that to the screen, you bring it to all of us, and we will enjoy it. Because mm -hmm. I've been enjoying you all. I, I watched that, and I was cracking up. <laughs> I called you. I, I jumped on the phone and called you right away. So um, I just want to say uh, thank you for that. Yeah. But we do have to let people know that, you know, you can always help. There's always something you can do to be a part of it. Yes. You know, so you can be a, actually a part of it. And I keep doing this with my hair. <laughs> and somebody mic me up with the... Um, <laughs> A little different today, and um, you know who you are. <laughs> and now you got stuff going on with my hair today, and I'm gonna have to talk to. I'm gonna have to be real deep with these people because now my hair feels like crazy, crazy. Talk to me, talk to me, get me together. <laughs> Tell me about the kids, girl. Tell me all about this. working out the kids. Yeah, well, so after I realized, like, okay, I want to start creating the stories, because I was already an actor. I want to start creating the stories that I want to be in. And um, the first thing that came to mind is I want to do something fun. I want to do something funny. So I was like, I want to do a sitcom, like the sitcoms, like I saw when I was growing up, you know, like when we single. Um, no, no. Like living single and girlfriends, like I wanted to do an ensemble piece that really featured women. Had men in it as well, obviously. Uh huh. <laughs> these, I heard about these two right here. Uh -oh. <laughs> when we finally get to them, right, right, right. Um, but yeah, really empowered and spoke to women. And so then, in having conversations with my friends and things, hair kept coming up, and it wasn't even about talking about the show or that I wanted to do a show. It's just in general conversation. Like, especially between black women, hair comes up so often. And I was like, you know what? That's going to be the content of my show. It's wow. going to be about hair. <laughs> yeah, be about hair. <laughs> yes. Because okay. we would always talk about, have different stories and talk about what happened with our hair. And we would be laughing, you know, because it's funny sometimes. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. That's okay. how it came to be. So, uh, when you said, what kind of hair? Like, you said, yeah, working out the kinks. That means any, all kind of hair. Well, I mean. In particular, I would say black hair and especially natural hair. Um, but in the show, we, I mean, we deal with the, all the characters here. We have- <laughs> You laughing, he's laughing. <laughs> introduce them. Oh, sure. <laughs> so this to my left is my director, phenomenal director and editor, William Alexander Reynolds. He is a prolific director and editor. Uh, <laughs> you have to talk to him. We'll have to talk about his, his other projects and things he's working on. He's just mm. amazing. Mm. Um, 
right mm-hmm. here is one of my actors, Brandon. Hey. Uh, he's an amazing actor. He's hilarious. You have to follow him on social media. One he's more time. Say his name one more time. So Brandon Lamar. Brandon Lamar. Okay. Yes, on social media. Follow him because he will have you laughing. So let's just type up that name <laughs> and then... Um, um, Brandon Lamar is uh, uh, B-R-A-N-D-O-N. Uh-huh. Lamar, L-A-M-A-R. Okay. Um, I do a do, um, like skits and stuff on the Brand New Life, and that's my, my entertainment. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Tell them how you spell that. Oh, yeah. brand new life is a B R A N N U E life L I F E. Thank you. See, we gotta make sure it's right because I was like, she even she was like, I'm sorry. What? This is about me. Okay. 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 That chair back. is like uh, busy yeah. right there, though. <laughs> and you know, what's so busy about this chair is that people don't know is that, so, you know, when I'm doing something, y'all yeah, know when I'm doing yeah, something, everybody got to get involved. So, um, the Fabo Foundation, I'm super, super um, proud to be working with the Fabo Foundation. Uh, this is two years in a row, and um, this year I really wanted to get more involved uh, with this global event uh, for the Fabo Foundation for the Deaf. And Bertini uh, is a very good friend of mine from America's Next Top Model. His brother um, is deaf and growing up was very difficult for his brother and he founded the Fabo Foundation. And so we will be uh, hosting the red carpet, yours truly Kendra, uh, be out at the National Black Theater this coming Sunday. Um, you guys better get out there with me. Mm-hmm. And y'all better bring some book bags. <laughs> um, bring some book bags out because it's going to be super phenomenal. So, um, as you can see on the set, we got book bags galore. We got more um, book bags in the back. And that's because Jay Nicole has this heart of gold. <laughs> and I said to her, Jay, look, can you make it? She was like, I can't make it to the right. Why, why can't you make it? We can't make it on Sunday because we're screening at a film fest, another film festival yes. that we're not yes. making for another award. Yeah. <laughs> so, we brought our book bags today to give to you. I want to say thank you, Super. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, all over the place, we've been getting book bags donated to us. And uh, I spoke to Joyce today. Um, I spoke to, um, I know Cynthia's got me. I know everybody's been uh, doing some donating for book bags, um, making a donation so I can pick them up or either dropping on book bags. So um, Saturday, I'm going to buy a truckload of book bags. And um, it's, it's just an honor to do it for the Fabo Foundation for the Deaf. Um, so at the event, uh, I will be doing some of the fundraising at the event on stage. And I just want to say it's super important that when you come out, I don't care what you have. If it's a dollar, if it's two dollars, if it's three dollars, if it's four dollars, if it's twenty dollars, so it sounds better, right? <laughs> if it's a hundred dollars, you know, it gets better. Um, it's, about, it's what you donate. And it's going to the Fabo Foundation. And uh, Bertini from America's Next Top Model, the founder, will fly out to Africa, greet them, and bring them their book bags to school. Aww, so that's like a shout out to <laughs> A big shout out to Bertini and um I will see you on Sunday, Mr. Africa, uh, and you can go to eventbrite.com, um, right? Yeah, eventbrite.com, and you guys can purchase tickets to come out if you'd like. It's a fundraiser. It's a charity event, so please come out and support it, and I definitely will be out there all night, and you guys said about the money dance. I've always been curious about the money dance. You know, in that culture in Africa, you know, they do the money dance. Right, right. You ever heard of that? Never? I've heard of it. It might happen. Yeah, it just might happen. Yeah, I heard I'm gonna Yeah, I heard I heard Bertini's gonna Yeah, yeah, I heard Bertini's gonna maybe. I I was talking to him. I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro, maybe. And maybe you can teach me a little bit. I'm like, bro, I don't know. So anyway, it might happen. But come on out, so many things are happening. Huge fashion show, a VIP. It's gonna be super phenomenal. It's going to be iconic. So I've been saying iconic all week. I've been hyped. I've been amped up all week. So I want you to come out. But I want to thank um, Jay Nicole and the cast for coming out here today. Stopping, picking up book bags just to make sure that they are part of doing great things. And when she does her fundraiser, we'll definitely be amping it up <laughs> so, um, to support you. Because when you put this out, we just want to say thank you so much for your creativity. 
And uh, you can tell the people your role one more time in Working Out the Kinks. Sure, I created Working Out the Kinks and uh, and I'm the lead actor in Working Out the Kinks as well. Um, and in case there are any people who are just itching to donate now, there, <laughs> exactly. is, there is a donate button on our website on walkseries.com, W-O-K series.com. What did you say? W-O-K series.com. <laughs> what did you say? That is W-O-K series.com. I think it's on my shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want to say, Somebody. like, you guys are super young doing great things, and I love because, you know, when you guys told me, showed me I was old, and I said, <laughs> when I was thinking about the Jeffersons and, and the good times and what's happening. Great shows, though. Great right. shows. Right, right, right. Great shows. You know, my dream came true when I met, um, you know, Ernie. I was like, is that you, Rod Thomas? Is that you? And I met Rod. So I interviewed him when I was back in my radio days. He came to um, the live studio, WVOX. Oh, this was years ago, and I'm like, now he does that show. Everybody is a Raymond. Everybody, everybody loves Raymond. So I'm like, wow. He was actually sitting in the studio talking to my kids. We started out with a new segment, so we have to create empowerment. And over the years, we've loved interviewing. I have loved interviewing folks just like you, young people doing great things. So we have to support you and follow you wherever you go. So you guys, some of you are not my friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and you will be my friends before the end of the night. We're going to fix that. We're about to fix that? Okay. That'll be an old girl's friend, okay? <laughs> and um, G Money, if he's watching the show, he's like, Kendra, stop. I'm like, but G Money, the Y is right here. <laughs> so um, I just want to shout out G Money. He had a huge event uh, just the other day, and it was awesome. So I want to shout out G Money. Follow him out, anything he's doing. And, um, Michael Shore was supposed to be here tonight, he was, and he, he couldn't make it, right? Yes. So we want to shout out Michael Shore because, just because, like, he did, he did. so a Mike. big shout Thank out, you. yeah, a big shout out to Michael Shore, and <clears throat> I want to do this. Now, I want to talk about the characters. Should we show the clip first, or then sure. first, or then? Sure, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to show that clip, and then we're going to, yes, we're going to go to a clip, everybody, and we'll be right back. Yes. Can we show Facebook that clip? <laughs> yeah. So when we go to Facebook, we'll be right back. We're live all over the world. www.bronxnet.org. Um, don't forget everybody to join me out. And you better work. You better you better follow them out. Working out the kids. So you better follow this crew out. They're awesome. Um, we're gonna go to a clip in about just a second. It's about to get real different up in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just my clip in. <laughs> Clipping? She was just taking out her track after her audition. Taking out your track? You can do that? Just do they clip your hair in and out like that's a thing? Oh, that is so cool. Girl, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you ever touch a black woman's hair? Ever, ever. Now that's a thing. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I let it slide this time, but you got a lot to learn, girl. Come on, let me show you to your room. <laughs> <laughs> we are so bad. Tell me about Jay Cohen. Tell me about that. Yes. So that is a part of my pilot episode. It's a clip from my pilot episode, and that little piece that you saw right there, just from experiences from myself and my friends that I've talked to that have experienced that where somebody of a different race wanted to come and touch my hair because they you know they like oh it looks so beautiful and want to touch it it's like uh, 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 hold on you don't you don't understand you don't, you don't, there's, there's, a, there's a un unwritten rule that you don't <laughs> that you just don't do that you don't touch you have to tell the rules it's not a petting zoo thank you thank you and, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm, like, I'm going around the room now. Can we go around the room? Sure, sure. I'll reintroduce. So, oh, yeah, yes. Tell me about that clip. Tell everybody about that clip, how you would you go. 
I mean, uh, you hear a lot of black women talking about people wanting to press their hair, but as a black man, it also happens to me a lot, too, that I'll get the old, like, nice job sort of hair uh, rub, no. and it's like, you know, you don't know what type of products it took to put in this exact <laughs> order. <laughs> Everybody's going natural. I don't have an edge up all the time. Sometimes I'm letting it grow out, throw out, and I just want to see what happens. Uh, you can't just pet me like I'm a puppy. So you don't want to pet like a puppy? This puppy Aww. bites back. Aww. <laughs> Aww. All right, here we go, sir. But I, before you move on, oh, yeah. sir, I want him to talk a little bit about, because he directed this whole scene. He okay. made it even funnier than what it originally was going to be. So can you talk a little bit about... Where'd little... you get the girl from? Hold on for you. Where'd you get the girl from? Where's the girl? girl? The... The girl who was scared of them didn't know about the. She didn't know what hair really does, what we do with hair. Well, you know what's really funny? I just asked everybody before I came onto the show. I had to audition as the director, which is something I've never done in my Jay, entire not career. Playing, Jay, not playing. <laughs> so I, I had a director's audition, and they were all already in the room. Oh my God. All the actors, and I was the first one. So I walked in, like, all right, gotta get everybody warmed up. <laughs> um, and, you know, I just saw that they were all comedy in the room so i wanted to give them each their own little moment to shine mm -hmm. in the special way that they get to shine so wow so this this clip was like phenomenal mm -hmm. thank you yeah so yes. anything you want you, you want to add about that clip she, that she clip, looked scared she didn't look she like looked she was, scared yeah she needed to get herself together she just gotten off of a bus from ohio mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't ready for a room full of no, no. black roommates no she was not ready. <laughs> ready so you know we just played with the I mean, you know, this is a real conversation right now. Gentrification is going on in Harlem, all over Harlem. And a lot of people get into these situations and don't know what they are uh, up against. Um, the high hair looked a little crazy, too. It did. <laughs> so, well, I, hope, I mean, I don't know about the end of all of this if you helped her out. Like, with her hair, because her hair was a mess. I mean, and her being a redhead, I think, is going to be in the show at some point, too, because I know that's a thing. Um, yeah. That people aren't used to seeing people with red hair. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And they, yeah. Gender. Okay. All right, and um, well, we should go ahead and thank him this way. Sure, you sure. just since you know you made it in, you made a big effort in all that traffic you were doing. So, guys, guys, says I'll let you get in here next. Talk to me, <laughs> tell the folks your name and exactly remind them. Lance Liverpool, associate producer. Uh, that scene right there is actually uh, one of my favorite scenes because it's it's the it there was a climax um, leading up to that part and. It's something that I've actually seen before. I've seen, you know, uh, women who aren't as knowledgeable about things like that, clippings and things like that, you know, um, ask questions or even try to touch women's hair and they have to be corrected on check. that. Yeah, check. check. Or, or corrected, That's a good right. Word. There you go. Right. Check. I'm right. old, but. Right. Check. There you go. <laughs> it gotta be checked, right? It gotta be checked. Right. No. But, um, <laughs> But, you know, but it just shows the, the breakdown between, you know, different cultures and things like that. But this is what we're doing. We're merging these cultures and Together. bringing... So, like, yeah. I don't know. We haven't seen the end. So, um, I'm looking forward to the end and mm -hmm. then coming in. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. So, I actually joined up or working at the Kinks when we were still in the fundraising process. And um, that actually just taught me a lot about um, the relatability of it, you know. And... Um, so many people actually wanted to see it come to fruition, even though it was just an idea, because they can relate to it so much. I've I've been, you know, my personal space has been in, in violated before because people were curious what's going on with my scalp. I don't know why. And that, it, <laughs> well, that, if you like that kind of hair right there, and that's a lot of hair, so I mean, maybe, maybe that could be why. But then, you know, the next day I come up with, you know, a pixie cut, and like, they like, they you know, still bother the, you? I mean, you had a chance to oh, okay. Okay, grow. So it's something, you know, it's something about, you know, the change and what I you do. I guess, but you know, either way, it's you know, it's my business. You could mind, <laughs> or if you want hair tips, that's different too. But either way, I came so, on board uh, because I was. I you said mind your business? No, no, not yeah, my but business. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so you meant it. Girl, own it, own it, girl. Mind your business. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. and you guys bring that attitude to it, like to some of the parts. And, and, well, we well, that's kind of you know, that's what it comes down to, but you explain why it's offensive, you know, but in a comedic way, you know, understand why you would, why, what I'm trying to understand, why you need personal space, you know? I love it. <laughs> and sir? Yes, sir. Well, I'm, I'm Brandon Lamar again. Um, I play Q. I play the, the love interest. You know the so love interest of? My, my perk of my being part of what I'm the kids. Um, you said a perk? 
That's a perk. There's a lot of things that's a perk. That's a perk. That's a perk. Don't get a twist. I mean, I, I, love, I love that perk. I think, I think it lays in uh, the groundwork of what um, she's trying to put out there, you know what I'm saying? Just the different uh, mindsets and uh, perspectives. And um, I think that's that's neat, you know what I'm saying? Especially with this, I feel like this, this new merge that's happening with the natural hair movement. Um, that I think people need to, to, to understand that it's just not about the hair so much as the mentality that comes with the hair, the acceptance of self mm -hmm. and things that, that black women go through. So right. I think, I, I think um, just that clip, that's um, different cultures know the, um, the progress of the struggle with the mentality that black women go through on a day-to-day -day basis with it, just accepting their own hair. I love it. Yeah. And it was, it was an amazing uh, moment when we went to the New Hope Film Festival, where we won two awards, by the way. <laughs> but, um, we, went, we went to the New Hope Film Festival, and afterwards, now the New Hope Film Festival is actually a predominantly white audience. And so I'll be honest, I was a little nervous screening this at the New Hope Film Festival. But afterwards, they, they received it so well. And people were coming up to us saying how much they related to it. Like this one lady, she was my favorite. You she came up. We're just at, you said she was my favorite. She was my favorite because she was just so honest. She came up, she was just like, you know, I feel like Madison is me. She's like, because I've read here too. And I remember this Aww. one time. <laughs> When I was, you know, I was talking to two younger black girls and um, she was telling me about her hair and I didn't realize that it wasn't her hair, that it was fake hair. And she flipped it up and showed me the tracks and everything. And um, I went and I touched it. And the girl who, who, whose hair it was, she didn't mind, but her friend said something. And I didn't understand at the time. But now that I'm seeing your show, I understand now why the friend said something. <laughs> oh my. Where are you from? Where you from? I'm originally from Ohio. Did you ask because the accent came out? Uh, I, I heard it. So I, <laughs> the I thought came since out. it came on out, I might as well, you know, let yes. people know where you're yes, from. Yes, I'm originally from Ohio. So did you, so you include that? Yeah. Yes, and, and and actually, the actor that plays Madison, Amanda, she's originally from Ohio as well. So, so I'm you like, got you know a little what? buddy in yeah. there. Yeah. You got that Ohio language going yes. on. Yes, yes. I love this storyline, and I like the fact that you get into you know, the things that we're going through in society, the change of hair and, mm -hmm. you know, what it means and what you look like and why do we care so much? Mm -hmm. We do care, you know, so we care about what hair looks like. And now I can touch my, this is one show, I can just touch my hair a lot. I love it. <laughs> Without getting in trouble about it. Right. Like, it works. Yeah, it works. Touch your hair then. <laughs> See? <laughs> Wait, is your hair natural right now? Yes, yes. Natural, all natural. Yes, right. yes. I wanted to do natural. You guys wanted to do natural out there because it takes a lot of work. <laughs> it, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. That's the funny thing. Like when you first go naturally, when I first went natural, I was like, "Oh, you know, it's gonna be natural. It's gonna be fine. Like I'm not gonna have to worry about you know relaxing it anymore or doing a flat iron or a straight straightening comb. You know, I'm just gonna be able to go because it's just natural." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have to stay home. It takes a lot of work. Right. It takes a lot of work. It takes, it takes a, a lot of work. You know, a lot of natural. So it takes a lot of work. And um, so I'm glad you incorporated. A lot of us struggle with our hair, and I think when we, when I watched this, I was like, mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And I think the the tracks uh, that I love that part of the tracks because it was hilarious because you know you don't touch people's hair like that. Mm -hmm. And I have this thing I will ask you first if I really like your hair, mm -hmm. and you know I have the same me and my friend we order hair we, we order hair, mm -hmm. and so I was like um. Can I, I always ask, can I touch it? Yeah. Can I see if I like Because we hair? know. We know that's the protocol. Yeah, that's the protocol. <laughs> that's the rules, right? Yes. <laughs> so um, I just want to say thank you for bringing that to light and making it funny. Mm -hmm. And um, I just love your talent. I just love what you're doing. And we definitely want to support you all. And once again, do you have some other projects going on back there? I do. Um, right now, I am in a reading of a play called Dennis that's going to be at Shetler Studios on September 10th at 7 p.m. Um, I'm an actor too, so I'm acting for the first time in like six years. So I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Um, I also am directing a one woman show called The Closet Bitch. Oh, which, well, does that word on uh, But I'm, I'm talking about the, the animal, the dog. 
Oh no, but we can't say the word. <laughs> see, we apologize on person. We see, we see, he it apologized. Just came out. It just <laughs> Why not ask you about your projects? It's all my fault. I would have held that in the in the back. But also explain that it, it's not what you what it sounds like. It it's actually not. is an acronym. It's uh, a bold individual who thinks confidently of herself. Okay. So that's actually what. Um, I just want to say. Um, we do support like the projects that you guys like, you know, are doing, and we want to thank you so much, you know, for being young and just getting young and just giving it a shot and just knowing what you could do, being a young person. And I love, you know, talking to young people, seeing them doing great things once again. And sir, um, once again, I just want to go around the room and make sure I get everybody. Um, we do apologize once again. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure. Uh, tell me about some of the projects that you worked on that you. Okay. Um, some of the projects I worked on um, recently, the Harry show, Harry Connick Jr. show. Um, he had me on two of his episodes. Uh, he has a talk show. Uh, also, I did a, uh, a recent short film called Through My African Eyes. That's on YouTube. Um, also working on a web series, a web series called Situationships. Hmm. Very funny, very interesting. So next, series. maybe next year you'll be Mr. Africa. <laughs> you never know. Uh, you guys, you guys are gonna be like, I'm gonna like, y'all better try out. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell Bertini, I'm like, y'all don't know, you don't know who I had on the show. They're gonna be the next Mr. Africa. They're gonna try out next year. Yeah. So you, ju you just never know. I just want to congratulate you. Thank you. You know, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Young power. You know, we gotta keep supporting you guys. Yes. And um, young lady. Yes. Um, just again, uh, my name is Brianna. I'm one of the producers for Working at the Kings. Um, right now, I don't have any work that you can see, but I'm in the works. I'm working on writing a, a thriller slash sci-fi. We don't see enough of that. In the no, world. And especially not you us know, making them too know. much of us yeah. making them. We're so. not, yeah, we went to the Hip Hop Film Festival. We actually saw something that was sci-fi. Uh, that was cool to see somebody indie do that and to, to know that it's... That's a, you know, I'm just focused on that and focused on working you on You know, that's like a niche for you, so... Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah so I know that's, that. You know, you we know? always have to find out what our niche is. Right. And when exactly. we find out early on, it's like right, a... Right, And when yeah. we find out early on, it's like right. a really good thing, so... Yeah, I'm glad you picked up on that, because that's a niche. This one is an Emmy nominee, too. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. All right. She's mother. 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 She's m
I, I think people, they grow up and they feel like, well, I'm too old to do things. Mm -hmm. And to me, I feel like you're too old not to do anything you want. Right. Like, that's how we grow up. Right. You know what I'm saying? My mom told me, if you pay your own bills, make your own rules. That's right. Hey. So that's how I look at it. I just want to show people, man, I'm done my how old you can jump out there and try. That's one right. thing. One, one drink. drink. I don't care what it is. I love it. Just one. Just one. Just one. I love that. So you're going to keep that mind. Right. Just one. Just one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the time is going to pass anyway, so you, might, right. as well you might as well do it. Chasing something you Five love, doing something you love, right? Yeah. It's I'll, gonna pass anyway. Right. I want to do this. I wanted to say, how can we support? Tell us one more time. How can we go and support you? Because um, you are fundraising, you're about to be in production again. Yes. So yes, we do need to support that, and we, we do need to support our fundraising efforts. So tell people once again. Yes, WalkSeries.com. W O K Series. S E R I E S dot com. On the website, there is a donate button. If you go and press that, you can donate to us. And we will be having fundraisers coming up. So please be on the lookout for that. Support us. You can follow us on social media at Walk Series as well. Spelled the same way. WalkSeries.com and at Walk Series on Twitter, Instagram, and working out the kinks on Facebook. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Each and every one of you here will be great motivation and speakers. Well, <laughs> just so he can see what you, just so ask him what he's working on. Just so ask him what you're working on. I know, see? This is a good, this is, this is a good experience. And, you know, like I said, what what this does is it just reminds us of where we are and who we are and what we're doing. And I think it's very important, this media outlet that we have. And that's why I love this at Bronx. Now, you've, you've been at Bronx. Now. You were a young at Bronx. Now. So you know that this is a great place um, for people to start. You know, they become something really different when they leave this studio. So it's just on and on and on. It's just, I love this community so much. I'm here. I've been here 15 years. We love it. You know, radio, TV, the young people, the kids, yeah. <laughs> you know, every single cause. I think we just love it up here. I can't leave here. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say I love you, BronxNet. Uh, I want to shout out all the crew in the building today. I want to shout out Lou Jamal. And we got somebody new in the building. I got my intern in the building tonight. She came in from Cali. Um, tell the folks your name. Marshall. Marshall, shout it out loud because you're on Facebook, girl. Marshall. <laughs> so Marshall is my intern. So she cute. came out from Cali. And um, we're going to teach her ropes just like when you started out. Um, so I just want to say we have to be inspirational, we have to be motivational, and we have to make sure we bring our youth. Yes. And we have to make sure we bring people, yes. not just our youth, but, you know, as we adults, we still need to be, you know, molded and, 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 and brought together. And so yes. when somebody asks him what he's working on, <laughs> I just say, I love you. I'm going to love you from now on because you're going to come back over and over and over again. And I'm sure it's not going to come out that way. <laughs> and we're going to keep doing these interviews, um, and we're going to keep having you guys up. We're going to keep following you guys, and um, you guys are so phenomenal. You guys are so talented. To hear that you've been all over the place, you hear the Emmys, all the awards, award-winning, award-winning, award-winning. So, like, this is super phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this man right here is my swab buddy right here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I just want to say I can only say great things about you all. Um, I, I told Nicole, I said, this hour's going to go so fast. Yeah. And we're going to be like, I just want to make sure people know um, about the Fabo Foundation uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, I want people to know that you guys are definitely supporting. Mm -hmm. And it's super, super important um, to do that. Because once you support different organizations and causes, you know, we really got to turn around and support you guys back. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's supposed to be, you know, one hand watches the other. We're supposed to, like, a village, it takes a village. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's supposed to be like. We've got to start supporting one another. On saying and not liking. Right, right. Start showing the support. Right. Because, like, for you, you know, people need to know how many likes you yeah, have, how many views yeah, yeah, yeah. you have. It's not like people need to know how many likes you yeah, have, how many views yeah, yeah, yeah. you have. It's not like we have the Nielsen ratings, like, for radio or, like, Barnes and Heather. So people need to like on the pages so that we can tell people exactly. It shows what we're doing. Right. So... I was going to say, speaking of support and that it's a village, I just, I want to thank all the people that have supported yes. us. You know, we have so many donors who have supported us and I, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you donors. And then all the rest of the people that are on the team that weren't able to, I'm to sorry, make it. make it out today. You know, the rest of our cast, the rest of our crew, 
uh, my creatives, my co-executive producer, Shirley Uyi, um, my producer, Chad Jackson, um, script consultant, Ebony Janice, and then, like I said, the rest of my cast and crew, and just people who have just supported us from day one, even before I even knew what working out the kinks was going to be. So thank you all. Um also this, um I have something that Jay, you have a swag bag. I do you have a swag bag. I do. So I, I looked it up and I saw a swag bag. I'm like, what's a swag bag? <laughs> yes. The swag bag has um but the things from our sponsors yes. is just for you. Yes, okay. yes, yes. yes. <laughs> And um, people be on the lookout for these swag bags because we are going to have and you other give it, events. Thank you. You can give me those shoes and that, <laughs> and that skirt <laughs> and that t-shirt. I think I can fit it. <laughs> these will be okay. on sale on our website. So okay. Just FYI, and, uh, the events and things that we have coming up will be given handing out. Swag but they're bags. not on sale yet. I don't want to. I, yes. Uh, one thing about here, mm -hmm. we're not promoting anything right here right now. Right. Because we want to promote working out the kings we want everybody to know that we have true 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 folks that are doing great things in the building actors and actresses directors producers sitting in those chairs and you know, african-american folks and yes. i'm super super proud of you guys thank, thank you so thank this you. is what we're promoting working out the kings award-winning over and over and i just want to say um just being nominated is a win when you're nominated for something is a win when you win it's truly a win <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what else would you like people to know? What else would I like people to know? Well, um, I would love. I, well, first of all, I actually kind of want to go back to Will because he's being modest too. <laughs> all the, all no, the, I think no, no, I threw him off because when I, yeah, oh, see, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't really get to my like, I'm gonna have to. He, I'm gonna have to do my. He like this thing. So no. And he shows up with me just because he said, I'm like, don't worry, don't worry, man. It's all right. It's so all we don't right. forget that. We don't right. forget that. We got, we got that. I was, I was just impressed with him um, before he even came to the audition to be a director. I was just impressed with his past work. I was a fan of his show that he directed Black Actress, which is a phenomenal hit web series. And he directed that, did a phenomenal job and edited that. How can we take a look at that? This so, this so people know. Um, they're all on YouTube. Okay. Uh, there's Black Actress, there's Young and Reckless. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, I'm a fan of that one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, 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 think I, I think that's yeah, complicated. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So don't let me scare you. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. Me and him gonna take the most pictures when the show is over. We're gonna take the most pictures. Everybody else, yeah, wait. Me and you. Oh, and then the other thing I would say is that we're gonna be at the Validate Yourself Film Festival this weekend. Um, yeah. Another award. Yeah. yeah. I'm super excited. Uh, one more time, a uh, big shout out to um, Michael Shore. Yes. Um, yes. He was really, because he's like, Kendra, I'm going to be on the show. I would like to be on the show. <laughs> so I just want to say um, thank you so much, Michael Shore, for making sure that this happened. And he was like, well, you got to look at all her stuff. He started sending me all this stuff. I said, then I got to have her up. Aww, thank you, And I Mike. said, it's, it's, it's nothing to it. But, and it takes somebody to refer somebody, to keep telling somebody about somebody. So that's the one thing we have to do, make sure that we spread the word when good things are happening about good people mm -hmm. and other people. And we don't do that enough. Mm -hmm. You know, we just don't yeah. do it enough. Mm -hmm. We don't like, we gotta, can you tell people to like? Tell people, look <laughs> yes. at this. On Facebook, yes. like. Go yes. down and just like, 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 like. Yeah, and see, on Instagram. See? <laughs> and Instagram. <laughs> Wait, are you guys on Twitter? We are on Twitter, yeah. Same. I can't do Twitter. I'm old. <laughs> they say young Why? people do Twitter, right? I don't know. Is that true? <laughs> But I'm just asking. I, I, I feel that way because I, 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 I feel like um, people even younger than me are like super on Twitter. I'm, I'm more of an Instagram and Facebook type of person like myself. But, but like people who are younger, I feel they're like Twitter, 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 that's the one. Because we have actually a couple um, younger interns that have worked uh, for working right. on the kinks. And they're like, no, you need to be on Twitter more. And I'm like, somebody, one it? of my interns said no Twitter, right? <laughs> no Twitter. She said Facebook and Instagram. So I was, I was kind of relieved when my intern, she's 19, so when she said no, I was like, thank oh, you. Oh, good. Thank Snap you. is another one. We're not on Snap. Snapchat? Yeah. Snapchat? Snapchat, yep. Okay. All right, everybody. So I just want you to, uh, to have everybody's, even mine, I want to remind you, so every time 
you can go and we do so many things in the community that you may not see on uh, across on the TV, but we're always out there, Facebook Live, and we're doing some Instagram. So I just want you guys to know, you can go to my uh, my Facebook, Kendra Op, um, K E N D R A, and then O K E, okay. And I'll tell you all about that name if you come out on Sunday. Because <laughs> my parents are from New York, and yeah, they're from down south. <laughs> the, the, the dirty, the down in the dirty. Yes. Where? Uh, North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina, my mom. And my dad was from Jacksonville, Florida. Ah. So, Southern yeah. Huh? I'm from Dallas. So, so. From da- oh, not, hey. Alabama. Alabama. See? And you know, where you from? I'm from here. Well, I do have family from North Carolina, from though. North on North my North mother's North side. On your mother's side. My father's yeah. side is from See? Barbados. And then Barbados. So, you got all, you all mixed up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then? Uh, well, I was born here. But my family is first generation American, but Jamaican. Jamaican, see? See? Look at that. <laughs> and, and, and you find that. You saw yeah. working out the kinks and just an attitude. I think hair is attitude. Yes. Yeah, yes. I think you guys yes. hear hair is attitude? Yes. We all agree on that. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially in Jamaican culture, you see a lot of colors and things like that. Um, you know, I mean, when it comes to, you know, American culture and that, you know, going to work, you know, you see a lot of... It, it, it depends. Like even outside of working at the Kings, I do like fine dining, and I have to consider what what my hair looks like, you right. know, mm-hmm. because you know. They Why you look so familiar? I don't know because I've been here before. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. Have you seen you before? I don't know. No. We could have. Oh yeah. no, but you know, I've done a lot of the Irish jams and all those. Oh, I, I don't. I, I you never did I, that. Yes, yeah, here. It's real. Yes, it's real. You know, you're scared to go to the concert? No, because you don't. Did you make it? I'm American. I told you. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm American. American. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm American now. I don't know that. 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 I don't Nicole? Yes. 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 Jamaica? <laughs> Miss Jamaica? <laughs> um, <laughs> you from the Bronx, really? I'm not, no, I'm from Dallas. But Dallas, but you've been in the Bronx a lot, right? I, I actually directed a show at Lehman uh, at the theater. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, church so last, me. about wow. a year ago. A year? So thanks. So, and Africa. Mr. Oh, yeah. Africa next year. I can see him like doing Mr. Africa. I can see all three of y'all up there. Let me get the Africa. <laughs> so I want to do this. Um, if we if if we could do this, we want to invite you back. Um, when you um when you are uh, getting the fundraiser on the way, um, you'll have some clips and some things. Um, uh, we were very busy. We wanted to uh, let people see some of the stuff we were doing Thank before, you. but you keep you keep in contact with me, yes. and we'll get the stuff up. Whenever you guys are doing a project and you're doing something. You guys link me okay. so that we can make sure the world knows about it. We're live all over the world every week, every Thursday. Live television, www.bronson.org. Uh, yeah, channel 68. Click on channel 68 to tell a friend and another friend. And just keep clicking on there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Facebook, when you guys are looking at us on Facebook, sometimes you may fade out from the Facebook. You know how it goes in and out. Yeah. So we always want you to make sure you, t- you tune in to channel 68 or channel 34. Uh, for all Bronx sites and also we want to make sure that you guys know that you can go to www.bronxnet.org and click on channel 68 at every single broadcast and you'll see us rebroadcasting the same show tomorrow at 4 unless somebody mess me up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So we're going to have to work on it. Um, I, didn't I say that? What did I say before? But um, we're going to work on it because we definitely want people to see the show over and over and over and over and over until we do the next show. Okay, so uh, one more time for the fundraising. Where can, where can we support you, girl? Yes, walkseries.com, W-O-K-series.com, and at walkseries on all, all social media. I love it. And uh, one more time, everybody, give out the um, social media sites one more time. 
Uh, at Young Shakespeare, no O. So Y U N G Shakespeare. Mm-hmm. At Brand New Life, B R A N N U E Life, L I F E. And Brie Films, ninety three, B R I S I L M S, ninety three. Mm-hmm. Lance underscore Liverpool. Lance underscore L I V E R P O O L. All right, so we'll see you at the National Black Theater this Sunday in Harlem. Uh, it's the Fabo Foundation for the Deaf. If you'd like to donate a book bag or come out and support, I'll be fundraising on stage. You can make a do- bring a checkbook. Bring your checkbook. I'll be out there. <laughs> so Lucky Dolls, we'll see you at the National Black Theater in Harlem, 7 p.m. for the red carpet. I'll be hosting a red carpet. So we'll see you out there, uh, and it's going to be phenomenal. So come on out. So we'll see you next week. <laughs> oh, so okay. I can get my information in. Oh, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> yes, and tell people where they can find you next week. I'm sorry, on Sunday. It's all right. And, if and, you don't and, find me. Oh, 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 Validate Yourself Film Festival. And my personal Instagram and Facebook and Twitter is J Nicole Ralph. J N Y C O L E R A L P H. I love it. And I want to thank you guys working out the kinks. I uh, do on Facebook. I think I posted it. Kinky Boots is a correction. <laughs> See, you made a mistake and I made a mistake. So, uh, are we even? We even. <laughs> we even? Yeah, we even. I love you guys. Yeah. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Lock it out. Crossover TV. You'll see what we can. <laughs> yes. Work, 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 working out kings. Work, 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 working out kings.